Hello everyone, welcome back for another installment of Power of the Forest Memories, where we take a look at this toy line from the 1990s. And it's been a while since I've uh, talked about Luke Skywalker at all. Uh, there actually was kind of like a little bit of a drought, uh, a limit of how many Luke Skywalkers you could actually get in the store. Uh, in terms of ba basic carded Lukes, uh, so far I've reviewed seven of them on my channel, uh, starting with uh, Farm Boy Luke. There was also Luke and Dagobah Fatigues. Uh, Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker, Luke in Stormtrooper Disguise, Luke in his X-Wing Pilot Gear, and Luke uh, from Shadows of the Empire, and also Luke in Hoth Gear. So that's a lot of Lukes, and um, it's interesting because I remember for a while you would go into the store and uh, Farm Boy Luke and Luke and Dagobah Fatigues were basically gone. They never got re-released on green cards. They're only on the ones with the sort of reddish-orange glow in the background. So, so your options were kind of limited in terms of uh, which versions of Luke you could actually get. Uh, Luke in Stormtrooper Disguise seems to be the most common because it actually got re-released uh, a whole bunch of times, including all the way up into the freeze frame action slides. So uh, right towards the end of when they were doing the uh, pictures and the foil stickers on the front of the card, uh, they released uh, this new version of Luke. Uh, so this is Luke in the ceremonial outfit. And this was one of the last ones that they released uh, with the pictures on the front. This was just before they transitioned over to doing the freeze frame action slides. And unfortunately, my carded example uh, has uh, the yellowing effect happening on the bubble. So I didn't notice that until I took this out of storage. And I'm not exactly sure why that happens sometimes. Uh, this has been in storage along with a whole bunch of other um, carded ones. So it's not as if it was exposed to light. Um, although it's possible it got exposure to light at some point in the past and the yellowing effect hasn't happened until now. I'm not sure of the cause. Uh, it does uh, devalue this quite a bit, so, so that's unfortunate. But I did want to show you this first release because this got subsequently released uh, with the freeze frame action slide. And as you can see, there's a sticker on the front that says, all new likeness of Luke. And again, this is a brand new head sculpt that they introduced uh, with this figure. So uh, that's kind of interesting, a little bit different from the earlier release. And uh, I do like this version. Uh, it doesn't come with a lightsaber though. That's kind of a little bit of an oversight. Uh, and then on the back, uh, you can see the picture of uh, Luke at the ceremony. So along there with uh, Princess Leia and R2-D2. So that's very cool. And also pictures of uh, other figures that are offered in the line. And you see the date on this is 1996. So a uh, cool looking figure. And I, I do have a loose example of that that I can show you as well. So here we have uh, what he looks like out of the package. And pretty straightforward. Not too much in terms of the detailing on the figure. Uh, it does come with the removable uh, metal. So that's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, I think it's a legit looking figure. Again, I, the head sculpt is different from uh, the earlier version. And I don't know which one looks more like Mark Hamill. Probably this one. Uh, but... You know, neither one of them actually is a is a perfect likeness of him, but it looks good enough. It only appears this way in that one scene uh, from the original film, so you never see this outfit again. So pretty interesting. So that's that figure. And then uh, the next one I'm going to talk about is the the new sculpt that they had introduced with the freeze frame action slide, which would be this uh, Bespin Luke Skywalker. And uh, it shows uh, with detachable hand, so that hand actually gets uh, chopped off in the movie, so they made it so you could actually reenact uh, that particular scene. And again, a new head sculpt for Luke Skywalker, and it's pretty similar to the one uh, from the ceremonial outfit, um, but I don't think it's exactly the same, um, but he looks pretty good. I like that. Uh, kind of does sort start to look a little bit like Mark Hamill there, so that's cool. And I really like this outfit. This version of Luke Skywalker is one of the more definitive ones because some of the most important scenes, including uh, the fight with Vader, he's uh, wearing this particular outfit. So, so that's very cool. And then you can see uh, what the freeze frame action slide depicts. Uh, that's him arriving on Bespin. And then uh, on the back of the package, uh, they show you a mirror of that same image uh, printed on the back. So, uh, and again, uh, other figures that were offered in the line. They show uh, Luke in the ceremonial outfit on the back of this package. And another version of Princess Leia, which I haven't shown you yet, uh, so I'm going to show you that in a future video. So that'll be cool. And then you can see the date on this is 1997. So a uh, cool looking figure, and I can show you, I have a loose example of this one as well. I can show you what that looks like. So you can see what that head scope is like up close. 
And again, uh, this hand is attachable, so it just plugs right in there, and you can actually just pop it out. And then you can reenact uh, the scene where um, Darth Vader chops off Luke's hand. So, so that's pretty cool. And uh, pops right back in. And I like the detailing on this. Um, they did a good job in terms of uh, rendering this figure out. Just enough detail to uh, give you some of the texture in his clothing and stuff like that. So I like the boots too. Uh, these are the same kind of boots that he was wearing uh, when he was in his Hoth gear. So very cool looking figure and very excited to have uh, this in my collection. Definitely one of my favorites of Luke Skywalker. That's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more episodes of Power of the Force Memories, think about subscribing to my channel because I will be doing a lot more in the series going forward. Until next time, I hope you're having a great day, and may the Force be with you. Thanks for watching.